think that we're not aware sometimes of negative things that we say about ourselves or about our playing or oh, I don't know why I did that. All I said when I made that mistake earlier was, oops, I made a mistake. Let me try again. I didn't say, oh my God, what is wrong with me? Why am I making that mistake? How embarrassing. I didn't say that to you because I don't feel those things, but I also know that if I say that to myself, it goes deep into my spirit and I will believe it eventually. And the thing is, is that we're all going to make mistakes every single day that we play these instruments. String instruments are very hard. You have made a decision, a commitment to learn your instrument. And by doing that, you have signed up for making mistakes. It's a commitment that you make, which is very sincere, I would hope, with each of you. You have a lot of challenges on a string instrument that you do not face with other instruments. And so we all went in knowing that. If you didn't know that in the beginning, at some point it became clear to you. We're all aware, right? We all, we're all aware of this big black mystery of a board. <laughs> so we're going to sometimes be in the wrong spot on it and play out of tune. We're all aware that the bows have different weights at different points. Sometimes we're gonna make an ugly sound. We don't mean to, we're gonna have to try it again. I want to watch and see you responding to yourselves with support, with understanding, with energy, and not allow it to get you down because it's so important. And as we teach, you know, as all of the teachers here teach longer year after year after year, it becomes very, very clear to me that the people who succeed, especially in strings, are not the most talented. They are the ones who have talent paired with mindset and coachability. I'm absolutely certain of it. I have seen some of the most talented kids I've ever met not reach their goals because they get very negative, very upset with themselves over small things. They react very strongly to setbacks. They feel everything very deeply and they, do not, they don't show enough resilience. And even though we try and help them, it's very hard for them. That is something that you can change in yourself. You change it by not by catching yourself right before you do something negative, right before you say what you shouldn't say to yourself. You need to actually get into a habit of checking yourself and going like, okay, I just made a mistake. I almost said something, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm just going to try and breathe and I'm gonna try again. You have to make new pathways, new neuro pathways for your brain to cope differently with situations so that we can get to hear the great music that you have inside you. Otherwise, we are all going to be cheated from what it is that you each have to say on stage. That is a tragedy. We cannot have that. So we have to work on mindset. This instrument requires it so much. We have to work on that. The next thing is very paired with that. It's called coachability. And I've heard this talked about with Ava's teacher. I've also talked about it. I've seen it in my own teaching. There are certain students that I've had over the years that are the easiest students to teach I can possibly imagine. They listen, they focus, they lock eyes with me, they look at me when I'm playing and demonstrating, they try, they have good effort, they also have great mindset. They go home, they review things right away, they understand how learning works, and they're respectful of it. So if they mess up at, um, in class on something, they'll go home and look at it thoughtfully and try and deliver it in a, de a different state the next time. They're responsible about how they give energy in the lesson. They're mindful about how they're reacting to things and how they're paying attention to me. Coachability is everything at a certain level. So if we're talking to you today, if I'm talking to you today, if they are talking to you today and asking you for something, I want you to take a second Know that there is not a criticism happening, but that somebody is trying to help you reach your potential and that you need to dig deeper and find coachability inside you because you all have it. You can all do it. If you're motivated in the right way, I know that you can do it. If we had the right motivators for each of you in the room, it would make it easier. But the thing is, is that it lives inside you. You don't need treats, money, trips, things in order to motivate you to do what you need to do for this instrument, the commitment that you've made to it, it is inside you. So if I ask you to get in the right part of the bow, I want to see you lock eyes with me and I want to see you move to the right part of the bow and then lock eyes with me again. Be coachable. Celebrate victories. 
If you get it right, smile for yourself. Stop focusing on the negative and start focusing on the beauty of the work. Being coachable means that you are gonna take constructive criticism, which is always given with heart, right? It's always given with the best of intentions. We are all working really, really hard. We teach day in, day out. So we really love it and we mean well, otherwise we would be in totally different professions. So we're not here to make you feel bad, we're trying to make you into better musicians. If we're giving you a suggestion, that means you need to actually listen to the words and then give it your absolute best effort. If you can't do it, that is fine. What's not fine is if you argue, talk back, make excuses, call yourself stupid, decide that you can't do it, None of that is fine because what it does is it blocks you from where you're supposed to be. It literally will just keep you from getting where you need to be. And I really wanna make sure that we've talked about this this morning so that you know, because we've all talked about it, that we're gonna be watching to see which of you really tries to rewire how you respond to the learning opportunities that you have this week. If you really take this seriously, by the end of the week, you will have rewired some of how your body responds to a little bit of stress, how to cope with mistakes, how to work with other people, how to see yourselves as part of an equation. It could trickle into the rest of your school year and nothing would make us happier than that. We want you to look back on this summer and be able to attach it to future successes. I want to hear one of you or all of you say to one of these teachers in the next couple of years, if I didn't have Nam Nam in 2019, I know that I wouldn't have been able to do this. Do you understand? You can do it. Nothing would make us more proud than that. And that starts today. Anybody have any questions? No negativity. We talked about it yesterday. My youngest, went to Girls Chorus, there is no negativity in that building. I think, they've had a, I think they've had a meeting about it. I literally think they've sat at a table and said, we will have no negativity here. We have hard work, we have people that are willing to be mindful and curious about learning and work together as a team to create beautiful music. There will be no frowns, there will be no crying, there will be no complaining. I don't wanna hear anybody whine about when's, our, you know, when's lunch, how long before the break? I don't want to hear it. That is taking away from the productivity of everybody around you. It's a poison. To not room. being present. Because if you're saying that, then you can't be present. And the thing is, is that you're affecting everybody else's ability to be present. So I don't want to hear any complaining because we're all going to be mindful of the time. We are good teachers. We're going to be so, so present with you and very kind and very encouraging. And when it's time for break, we're gonna give it. Sometimes if we sense that you're tired and need one, we're gonna offer it. You don't need to worry about that. Everybody got it? We're gonna turn the disposition of everybody a little bit up and see if it makes a difference. Because I believe that it does and I've seen it, I've seen it. Even in the conservatory, I see it every Saturday, right? And you all know it, and you know it in your hearts. It's not that you can't be kind, giving, curious, willing to try new things, and then that you're not gonna get where you need to go. It's the opposite. If you keep talking down to yourselves, keep whining, complaining, saying I can't do this, I can't do that, that's the thing that's gonna keep you from getting where you, because it basically shifts everything in your brain into the negative. You have to work very hard to make those changes. But you're lucky because this week you have three people who want to support you on that journey. We're committed to it. We're curious about it. We want to explore it with you and see how it can serve you. That is an opportunity that you do not want to pass up. 